السلام عليكم this is a scenario in GID uh, Dolly is 59 years old who came with the complaint of acid indigestion there is pain in the stomach which improved when she ate food or took antacid medication on examination she has epigastric tenderness serological test uh, is positive for H. pylori and protein C. urea breath test is also positive with H. pylori. Endoscopy confirms the presence of a duodenal ulcer. So, this is a scenario that you can have. A patient can present to you with these complaints, or this scenario can come also in exams. The treatment that was given was antibiotic to eradicate H. pylori and omeprazole. So, the questions are what is the mechanism of gastric? hydrogen ion secretion and what factors regulate it? Why is not the gastric mucosa eroded and digested by the hydrogen ion and pepsin that is normally present in the gastric human? What causes peptic ulcer disease and factors causing it? How does H. pylori lead to duodenal ulcer? What is the permissive role of urease? And what is 13C urea breath test and why is it positive in H. pylori infection? What is the basis for Dodi's treatment with omeprazole? First question, what is the mechanism of gastric hydrogen ion secretion and what factors regulate it? This is giving you details in writing physiology. However, in summary, in the parietal cells, there is hydrogen potassium ATPase, which bumps the hydrogen from the cell into the lumen of the stomach. So this is the mechanism in summary of gastric hydrogen ion secretion. The factors that regulate the secretion of hydrogen ions, there are factors which stimulate the secretion and there are factors which inhibit the secretion. Factors that stimulate the secretion of hydrogen ions by the parietal cells are acetylcholine, gastrin, histamine. Factors that inhibit the secretion are somatostatin and prostaglandins. And you need to remember these factors as they might come also in MCQs. In question number two, normally why is not the gastric mucosa eroded and digested by the hydrogen and pepsin that are present in the gastric human? There are two factors that protect the gastric mucosa. One is the mucus that is secreted by mucus neck glands, which forms a protective barrier between the gastric cells and the gastric lumen. The second mechanism is the bicarbonate that is secreted by the epithelial cells of the stomach. So this bicarbonate is trapped in the mucus. So even if any hydrogen ion, I mean hydrogen ion does not, uh, does not come and damage the mucosa because there is the mucus. But even if there is any hydrogen ion that penetrates the mucus, the bicarbonate is already trapped in the mucus, so it will neutralize that hydrogen ion, and therefore it will not reach to the epithelium and it will not damage the epithelial cells. The same for pepsin. The pepsin will be inactivated because the environment that was acidic, because of bicarbonate, it has become relatively alkaline environment. Question number three, what causes peptic ulcer disease and what are the major causative factors? There are two main factors. One is the loss of protective mucus period, and the second is excessive hydrogen and pepsin secretion. So the imbalance between the protective factors and damaging factors causes peptic ulcer disease. There are other protective factors as well, prostaglandins, mucosal blood flow, growth factors, and there are other damaging factors like H. pylori, ANSID, which are painkillers, non anti-inflammatory drugs, stress, smoking, alcohol. So when there is imbalance between the protective and the damaging factors, peptic ulcer disease occurs. Question number four, how does H. pylori cause duodenal ulcer? H. pylori colonizes the gastric mucosa and releases cytotoxins, which causes the breakdown of the protective mucus period. Now, there are two main mechanisms by which H. pylori leads to duodenal ulcer. One is that it inhibits somatostatin release from the D cells. 
Somatostatin mainly inhibits gastrin. So when there is inhibition of the somatostatin, there will be increase in the gastrin, ultimately leading to increased hydrogen ion secretions, which reaches to the duodenum and causes duodenum ulcer. The other mechanism is that the H. pylori infection reaches to the duodenum mucosa, causing decrease in the bicarbonate secretion. Ultimately, there is no neutralization of the hydrogen ions that reaches to the duodenum. And therefore, there is duodenal ulcer. ulcer. In question number five, H. pylori contains the enzyme urease. What is the permissive role of urease? What does urease do? It converts the urea to NH3. Now, NH3 makes the environment alkaline, and this allows the bacteria to survive in the otherwise acidic gastric lumen. So the environment becomes very welcoming for the H. pylori. Another factor is that NH3 binds to the hydrogen ions in the lumen and forms NH4, which itself damages the gastric epithelium. In question number six, what is the protein C urea breath test and why is it possible in H. pylori infection? In protein C urea breath test, the patient is asked to drink a solution which contains 13 C urea. So patients who have H. pylori infection, the H. pylori releases urease. So this urease, was a, what does it do? It breaks the 13 C urea to carbon dioxide and NH3. Carbon dioxide is expired and is measured in this test. In question number seven, what is the basis for the treatment with omeprazole? What is omeprazole? Omeprazole is hydrogen potassium ATBase pump inhibitor. So it inhibits this pump, which ultimately leads to decrease in the secretion of hydrogen ions by the stomach. So less hydrogen ion ions are delivered to the duodenum. Therefore, there is decrease in the damaging effect of the hydrogen ions on the duodenal mucosa.